Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're talking about events, creative, so much more in the world of Fortnite. It's going to be a massive video. If you guys are new, don't forget to tap that subscribe because for those that don't already know, my fashion show is now going into beta testing and we are going to be needing roughly 30 to 40 of you to help me record a video for that, for the trailer. So if you want to be part of the trailer, make sure you pop in in the Discord at the end of this video. Pop in and obviously we're going to be creating a trailer there in the next two days, ready to launch the map into its first release, which is going to be amazing. So I can't wait for that. If you have played it early, you would have seen some gameplay of it over on my streams. You may have joined in a few games. It is still in testing, but we're almost out of the testing stage, ready to release it in the next few days. And also talking about creative, just before we jump into some of the other topics, my Canyon Racetrack map, the one we released a few months ago, has now had a complete map change. And I'm gonna be playing that in today's video. Brand new map changes on the map. Mirror mode is officially live. So this is basically the exact map, but you're going around it the opposite way, which changes the entire dynamic of the race it makes it a whole new map entirely because obviously the course is completely different there's new shortcuts new everything so if you haven't already played canyon the code is on screen throughout this video as well as it is in the description and you can also find it in the creative discover tab over on the vehicle tab best way of going in though is entering the code with a bunch of your friends so you can all get in the same lobby and race each other give it a go guys you can also play it on your own as well which is really fun so make sure you are giving canyon a go in the next few days it's definitely had some uh, massive of changes today with the mirror mode edition which has just gone live today so super awesome stuff there for those that want to try out the mirror mode update on canyon racetrack so let's jump into a bunch of the stuff which we have for today's video though which is talking about the up and coming fortnite event first so i want to start off with this little animation here coming in from ix prod he's created a concept of possibly what we could see during an event where the alien ships are abducting different pois i feel like this is a little bit too advanced for what would actually happen in game but a great little anim animation to start off a little talk about obviously the up and coming event and all the leaks today. So first off, fun fact, here is the numbers related to the glyph side or the glyphs uh, which are going to be getting put in regarding what is related to numbers and glyphs. So you can see there, that's what we're going to be having. I don't really know if this means too much, it's just kind of a cool little easter egg and obviously it could help us tell maybe in the future what all of these mean and I wonder if it will help us solve puzzles in the future. Who knows exactly if it will or won't but only time will tell if that will happen. Now is something about the up and coming abductors which actually have some sort of portals relating to doors. Now I talked about this a while ago and this is possibly where the event is going to be coming from. You can see here this code here allows players to be registered at the portal and then something will happen to them when they enter it. Currently we don't know 100% what that's going to be but it's going to be some sort of event regarding these current kind of giant abductor sources over the map. The bigger ones that take you to the UFO, the giant UFO, they're going to be doing something else very very soon most likely in the next update we did see a little leak of this from kumar as well of the different kind of teleporters and doors and stuff so i wonder how this is all going to tie together i think it's going to be super awesome and i think all of you guys should keep your eyes peeled at these abductors in the next few days because there's definitely going to be something big happening i can't wait to see how all that's going to tie into but it's super exciting stuff there on that side also, for some reason as well, it looks like the mothership over at Slurpee could be doing something here. Now, I don't know 100% what it's going to be doing, but you can see here this leak says here that over at Slurpee, it's going to be some sort of warm-up effect. I wonder if it's going to start to heat up the water, start to bubble, and start to plan something with the substances over at Slurpee, which would be really interesting. I wonder if eventually we'll see Steamy finally explode as well. To be honest, it is on the opposite side of the map, so that's probably not going to happen, but you just never know. You just never really, really really know also there's been a bunch of kind of strange things being tweeted out by leakers to be honest i have no idea what this means i look at it and think it just looks like a load of random symbols but obviously it could mean something you can see shinna here has tweeted this one out here where it's just like a picture connecting to another line another picture i'm assuming this could be related to some sort of an event or some sort of concert happening there is rumors obviously hypex tweeted out this one with the clocks this like spells out a date there is rumors that possibly there could be like an announcement on this date or a mini event in game or something but i feel like if there's going to be something big like a mini event i feel like it'll kind of get around in the community a lot faster than it would if it was just maybe of an announcement so i feel like it's more of an announcement target here rather than a mini game or mini event because obviously everyone would want to experience the mini event in game we've not had well to be honest the ferrari stuff was kind of like a mini event because we kind of got the introduction of them live inside of fortnite you know when it straight went live which was kind of nice but it wasn't like 
like a full on event like some of the mini main mini ones back in the day where you could like harvest rocks and you'd be working as the community or kind of clearing different objectives with runes and stuff like that so obviously we don't have that just yet but I do have a little feeling that we might start to see something similar on the lines of that this kind of update or maybe this even season should I say so let's keep our fingers crossed that we do start to get more interactive events leading up to stuff it's been a very very long time since we've ever had anything like that so let's just hope fingers crossed that we do receive something like this and I think it would be great to actually uh, get another mini event also a really cool LTN concept LTM sorry not LTN LTM concept coming in from a uh, J guy I saw this on Twitter a few people have been retweeting this so I thought I'd put it in today's video it's actually a concept about the rift zone effects being kind of like a reality wave style LCM which I think would be really cool so each different rift zone would give Obviously, each different reality wave would give a different rift zone from season X. You'd have like taco time, you'd have different uh, stars falling from the sky, different gravity and stuff. So, yeah, I think generally it'd be a really unique LTM. I think it's a lot of coding required for it. And I generally do think possibly it might not work too well inside of Fortnite's like, current state, but I don't know. I really don't know. Stuff like this could really go down well in the community. And I think I'll, LTMs, I feel like definitely are on a stretch at the minute i feel like unique lcms are quite rare to come by a lot of them are just repeated which is kind of annoying but that's where creative comes in sometimes sometimes creative stuff's also repetitive as well but we are trying our best to innovate as much as we can there obviously with the fashion show mode we've made for you guys uh, for those that don't already know much about it it is a fashion show where anyone has the opportunity to play as the judge in a fashion show you are probably sped up at seeing these streams online or content where you see people being the judge these youtubers they're not the best judges and you want to have that opportunity to actually be a judge inside of Fortnite and you can get that on my fashion show and that's something that's really unique about it also there is the streamer option as well so if you're a popular streamer out there and you want the access to the admin control to guarantee yourself the judge every time so yeah just overall I can't wait to release the map there isn't that long until I can do that so it's going to be really awesome and it's going to be amazing but if you guys haven't already this is something back from November 2020 if you don't already know the November skin which was actually the Intel set which released then was actually available until the 31st of July 2021 which means this expires in six days is it yeah six days as I'm recording this so if you haven't already and you've got an Intel CPU you want to go over to this and obviously Obviously get this sorted out so obviously you can gain access to the Intel skin if you haven't already if you're running off an Intel CPU because after this date I'm assuming this will no longer be available for anyone I've actually just gone ahead and done this I thought it actually expired a bit earlier but it looks like it got extended slightly so it's nice to see that it is actually possibly working so pretty cool stuff and you guys can claim access to the Intel skin if you head over there right now and make sure you do that but yeah guys don't forget if you want to join in for the fashion show map that will be happening very soon where we'll be doing the whole release stream as well as recording the trailer i can do have a bunch of people popping over to discord just to help me out with bits and pieces for trailers tiktoks and stuff like that so we can get as much around it kind of made for it so it's ready to go so that's gonna be pretty cool also a little topic just before we end up today's video is this one here coming in from shinna i thought this was kind of cool it's a little bit strange to be honest i honestly didn't expect this but you can see obviously it's just a survey which he's received and he's kind of just analyzed it and just put in a bunch of characters to be honest None of these are going to guarantee come to the game. It's just a bunch of random names Epic have really put together and just thought, oh, let's just ask a few people what they think about a few collaborations. Obviously, Epic Games could do collaborations with anybody, anything, or almost anything, as long as they accept it. Not guaranteed everything, but most companies will get offers from epic some will accept some will and just asking questions. Should we do it? Should we not? And to be honest, most of these on here, it's just such a big, broad list. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could just say any of these and it could happen. So I'm not going to put a finger on any of these. If there was one, someone asked me what I would say out of this entire list, I'd say Back to the Future because they're already in Rocket League. Other than that, I wouldn't say... Uh, I don't really want to go too much into these. I'd say Back to the Future is probably the most likely one out of that list because they've already done a club of it in Rocket League. Other than that, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you so much, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon in future content. Once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.